Hello everyone and welcome back to Ryzen Spray Booth in association with Auto Spray Paint Learning. And in this video, I will be showing you how to set up this HVLP spray guns. So let's get started. So this is my HVLP spray gun. This is a slightly cheaper spray gun. I mostly use this spray gun to spray primers. HVLP means high volume low pressure spray guns. So now we'll see how to set up this spray gun. This is a 1.8 tip spray gun. It is written on the spray gun here. As you can see, this is a 1.8 tip spray gun. So this spray gun I use to spray the primer. But if you want to spray base coat and clear coat, then you will need a 1.3 or 1.4 tip spray gun. And for the primers and 2K primers, epoxy primers, each primers, you will have to use this 1.8 tip spray gun. Because these primers are thick, because of the thick material, you will need a 1.8 tip spray gun for the material to flow out nicely and easily. You can even use a 1 mm tip or a 1.3 tip or a 1.4 tip spray guns to apply primers. But that is only if you are doing a spot repair because the material will not flow out nicely how it should flow out and you might have to reduce the mixture by adding extra amount of reducer so that it can flow out nicely on a smaller tip. Now you will see that there are many knobs on this spray gun. Here there is one knob, then here there is one knob, or here there is one. So what is the use of these knobs that I will show you now in this video. So the first knob which I will show you is this. This is the air pressure knob. How much air should come inside your spray gun, you can adjust on that knob. And as you can see there is one knob here as well. Most of the time I adjust my air pressure on this knob. I don't touch the knob on the spray gun much i have fully opened this knob and i have kept and i adjust my psi on this knob you can even adjust it on this knob and you can use the knob on the meter gauge as well but i use it on the meter gauge and on the meter gauge i can see how much air pressure is coming inside the spray gun now to set the psi you will have to press the spray gun trigger half the way like this so here i have not pressed the trigger now this is full press and this is half press so you will have to press the trigger halfway and then adjust your knob and set your psi accordingly so you can adjust all of that from here then the next thing what is there is the fluid flow knob this knob is for how much fluid is coming out from your spray gun as you can see the trigger is pressing full now now I will tighten this knob and I will show you so once I tighten this knob fully I can press the trigger only this much and I cannot press the trigger all the way now to set this up you will have to loosen this knob entirely just keep your trigger pressed and then loosen it because otherwise the entire knob will come out of its place now you will reach in a position where the trigger will not press anymore but the knob will still get more loose so that time you should stop loosening the knob and then you should keep your trigger pressed and start tightening the knob now now while you are keeping your trigger pressed when you try to tighten the knob it will stop at a certain point because you are holding the trigger tightly now if i put more pressure and turn the knob the trigger will start to come up now i will keep the trigger loose for a moment and i will tighten the knob a little bit more so this setup is for the full fluid flow and once your setup is done see that you tighten this ring so that your setting will lock in position so this is our full fluid flow setup now as you all guys can see that the nut under my trigger is come out i will just tighten it and put it back in position so i am hoping that you have understood what your full fluid flow setup is so here quickly i will show it to you again first loosen the ring then tighten your fluid flow knob then press the trigger and loosen the knob till the trigger doesn't press anymore so once the trigger touches there and once it is no longer pressing anymore keep the trigger pressed and tighten the knob again and while you are turning see that the trigger comes around one millimeter to two millimeter up and once you reach this setting see that you tighten this ring and lock the setup so this is your full fluid flow setting now we'll move on to the next knob and this knob sometimes on some of the spray guns comes in different positions so sometimes it comes just below the fluid flow knob so this knob knob is to adjust your fan width. Now if you want your fan width to be like this or like this, this is the wide angle fan width, this is a narrow fan width. So how you want your fluid to flow out, that you can adjust on this fan width knob. If you tighten this knob like this, then your fluid will come out in a narrow pattern. And if you loosen the knob, and here as you can see it is engraved on the spray gun, that if you loosen it, it will give you a broader fan width. So if you turn it this way, your spray gun will spray in a wider spray pattern. If you are spraying in the tight spaces then you can adjust your spray gun to a narrow pattern especially if you are spraying in the dough jams you will have to keep the fan width to narrow width if you are spraying in the dough jams then you can even use a 1 mm tip spray gun because this spray gun has a big cup which makes it slightly difficult to reach in the tight spaces so this is the fan width adjustment now this fan width adjustment you will have to do while spraying you will have to spray and adjust just spray the paint if you feel that it is too narrow then loosen the fan width knob accordingly 
you will have to use a board to check your spray pattern now which is the right spray pattern or how to do this practically when there is paint in your spray gun that i show you inside my course so if you are serious in learning auto body and painting then you can get yourself enrolled i will put a link in the description you can go there and check it out now when you are done painting with the spray guns you will have to wash this spray gun properly while washing you will have to take out some of the parts of the spray gun you will have to take out the head of the spray gun and you will have to submerge it in thinner so that all the primer or paint which you have used this gun for it will soften you will have to take out the spray gun cup as well when you take out the spray gun cup you will see that there is a hole here and you should be putting a filter here in this hole that filter i have kept inside the spray gun cup as you can see here this is the filter this filter also you will have to submerge in thinner before brushing it this spray gun cup also you will have to clean properly while washing the spray gun and as you can see this hole this is where your paint flows inside your spray gun if this gets clogged then you can take out the front head part with a spanner here you can loosen it and take it out completely you should be disconnecting this airline connection here before washing the spray gun this you should not be washing this is only a airline connection D don't submerge this inside the thinner but you can submerge half of this spray gun inside the thinner like this if your spray gun gets clogged then you can use a brush to clean the spray gun if you don't have a cleaning brush then you can even use a toothbrush here to clean this spray gun if you loosen this fluid flow knob entirely then the entire needle will come out and you can even clean the needle like that if you check this head you will see that there are tiny holes in the head you should be making sure that all these holes are dust and paint free as you can see here how tiny these holes are if these are blocked then you should be cleaning them nicely and as you can see there are two holes here you should be checking if these holes are also blocked you can spray pressured air to take out any clogged material inside the holes what i do while cleaning is i put thinner into my spray gun cup and then i shake the spray gun like this and then i spray the thinner out a little bit so that the paint which is there inside of the spray gun line should come out so once i spray all the primer or paint which is there inside comes out in a reduced form then i use the round brush it is like a bottle brush it's a small one that i put inside this hole and that's how i clean inside of this hole and the front nozzle also you will have to use a brush to clean it nicely never clean this needle tip with a metal brush or any sharp object if this needle tip gets deformed then it will spoil your entire spray pattern you can use a toothpick here because it is a wooden one you can use a toothpick and clean the tiny holes but see that the toothpick doesn't break and get stuck inside one of the holes every time you use a spray gun you should be cleaning it if you sprayed a base coat then you'll have to clean it if you sprayed a clear coat then again you'll have to clean it don't wait for the next day if you wait for the next day your entire spray gun will get clogged and you will have a tough time taking out all the hardened material inside of your spray gun it will be like your spray gun is almost spoiled so every time you use a spray gun you should be cleaning it this is a very important step now how to wash a spray gun i show practically in my course so if you are serious about learning auto body and painting and if you want to paint your own stuff in this course there are step by step videos on how to do what in auto body and painting and if you get yourself enrolled in my course you will get access to the private community with like minded people and you can ask whatever questions you have there if you have messed up somewhere in your paint job then you can upload those photos and ask where you have gone wrong and get feedback from the like minded people or from me so you will get full auto body and painting support if you get enrolled in any of my paid courses so if you want complete step by step video training then get yourself enrolled now you can use this skill as a hobby or you can even start to earn money once you master this skill if you have any questions then see that you comment below so that's all in this video guys if you like this video then see that you like and share and if you have not subscribed to my channel yet then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you will get notification when i release my next video and like this you will never miss any of my videos till then bye and take care